So what's this, um, what's this session called again? Uh, it's Arnie's Austrian Alps session. So Arnie's Austrian Alps <laughs> session, gun yeah. pump, yeah. buys and tries. Essentially, yeah. So for injured rugby players mainly? Um, yeah, essentially it's like, well, because when you're injured, obviously it's not that, that fun. You want to be out with the boys, you want to yeah. be training. Um, so yeah, to keep you entertained, they'll uh, they'll give you a bit of fun at the end of the week type thing. So yeah, I did. So you can get like a pump on, feel masculine, and then go and watch the rugby that <laughs> no, exactly. makes you play. Yeah, it makes you it makes you look good in your vest. So. Yeah. Yeah. So the first exercise is cable French press, which we're not going to do with the cable. We're going to yeah. do with the dumbbell. So let's grab a set of dumbbells quickly. Uh, let's go with fives, mate, because uh, you're probably a bit sore, aren't you? So dumbbells up. Let's, so you're going to work in. So this can be done with a cable or dumbbells. And um, reps, reps wise, you work on sets of? 12. 12. It's the first exercise. So mainly hitting tricep muscle, pumping them out. You probably got sore arms from yesterday, have you? Oh, they're all right, they're not <laughs> so bad. <laughs> okay, so then rest periods roughly for this? Um, well, because I was trying to get a pump on, I just go straight from one to the other. Okay. So usually what we'll do is, like there'll be a few boys injured. So yesterday I worked with two other boys. So yeah. whilst one works, one rests type yeah. thing, and we just work around in a little cycle. So yeah. Yeah, cool. it's a bit more fun when you do and it's a workout with the other biggest, people. Biggest guns at the end. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Boxes so like mirror, yeah. mirror work. Yeah, exactly. I've yeah. got mine covered up today. Oh, so you actually. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll get them out later. Yeah. yeah. Okay, then we're gonna move on to a standing bicep curl with a barbell. So again, you form that in here, mate. Nice bit of mirror for you. So, because I've got a wrist injury, um, I, I, I struggled with the... Is that super line grabbed? Yeah, super yeah. Grabbed, yeah. So, I went overhand yesterday. Okay, um, so hitting, hitting yeah, the forearm even more then. Exactly, so, yeah, just up 12 of these, really simple. Nice. Checking this out, doing terrible, doing guns in the squat rack, so <laughs> really, sh really shouldn't be done, but, you know, needs must. So, in terms of, like, consistent, like, would you, in your normal, if you weren't injured, would you still do gun sessions? In um, yeah, I think it'd be, it'd be more of like a top up at the end of your session. If you've got a spare sort ten of minutes. 10 minutes, you'd, yeah, you'd jump over onto the dumbbell rack and uh, do a bit of guns. You see, you see people like Guy Mercer or, or Nathan Cat, um, often they'll finish lunch and just disappear into the gym. And you're, oh, is, you're that how they get and such, is that how they get such big guns? Exactly, yeah. So I, Guy, Guy, Guy Mercer is yeah. criminal for it. Yeah. So, yeah, he'll, he's he'll, quite skinny, isn't he? He did. He was, he was a skinny little rake as a kid, but now, now he's a monster. Yeah. Good lad. Big boy. They're all big boys. Okay, moving on to uh, EZ. Uh, no, let's move on to the lean in tricep rope extensions. So, one of Arnie's favourite, I think this is. So, do you want to demonstrate this for us, Chris? So, that's just, it's not the prettiest of exercises, but essentially it's high to low. So, I'm leant over. And I just want to, it's a bit similar to the French press, but I'm just bent over essentially. So isolating the tricep again, very similar to the French press. And again, working through 12 there. So again, like with, in terms of the gym, you can adapt the sessions to be, um, you know, if, if you haven't got the, this isn't like a cable machine for doing this kind of work. This is a low row, high pull. So, you know, you can adapt, you can use dumbbells, change up the exercises slightly. And then EZ bar, We've got a special one for you. Okay. So this is a fat grip. Lovely. Nice. Okay. Always good. Yeah. Just get you what kind of weight you want? Fives? <laughs> yeah, five. fives will do. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Yeah. So, so what other kind of training are you doing at the moment when you're injured then? So you said you've been running? Uh, yeah, so because uh, I've had a wrist injury, um, my legs have been okay, so I've done lots of sort of uh, on feet fitness. Um, so we've got we've got loads of tests, such as we've got a Broncos test, which is pretty savage. Um, yeah, yeah ju just lots of running essentially on the pitch. So it's 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 quite frustrating because there's no balls involved. Yeah, and obviously that's that's sort of what I want to do. Like, um, so you for me, running to cones, yeah, I don't want to do. It's it's really boring. It's a bit monotonous, but. It's just something you've got to do. So with, with obviously a wrist injury, which is quite kind of mainstream for when you're, um, for your you know, skill work, for your passing and stuff. Yeah. Do you find that you, your skill work lacks a little bit as, as you're oh, injured? 100%. So I'm, I'm now back into full training. So as of Monday, I'm available for selection. Yeah. Um, but when went into passing and obviously for a scrum half, like passing for me, I'm bent over in this position. Yeah. 
um, and I found, Christ, my back's so tight. Yeah. So I've had to do lots of work this week on trying to loosen off my back, Keep my um, hit saunas, trying yeah. to get some mobility sessions in just to free up my back so that I can pass again. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing how quickly you lose it. Yeah, definitely. You stiffen up, especially if yeah. you sat down being injured. <laughs> okay, so this again is a, a preacher curl bench made specifically uh, <laughs> from benches because <laughs> uh, we don't have a preacher curl bench. But yeah, so this is preacher curls, EZ bar, fat grip, again, just focus on life setting the biceps. So just it's just a proper Arnie well. workout this, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. It's, yeah, it's like we said, it's just a bit of fun at the end of the week because we've put in all the, all the good work through the week and just to keep us entertained, we'll do a, we'll do a bit of fun. Yeah. A bit of, bit of guns. A bit of guns. Tricep push downs. So again, so how many times do you go around this, around this set? Um, so I focus think on we 12 did. reps every exercise. Uh, four, four times round. Four times round. And just minimal rest between, just basic yeah, work so, as you go. Yeah, like, like I said, it's good to work with, you know, with other guys in the gym, keeps yeah. you entertained, so whilst one works, the other rests. Yeah. And, yeah. and takes, what, 15, 20 minutes? Yeah, about, about, about 20 minutes. Yeah, um, it's a nice quick session then. Yeah, and then we finished off on the assault bike as well. Oh. So we just, yeah. Favourite bit of kit. We just did a minute on, minute off, uh, 10 times. Yeah, so, minute but, on, minute off, 10 times. Yeah. Well, yeah, so. I did that three times the other day and I found that time. Oh, that, well, so, yeah. Okay, but the question is, <laughs> the question is, is how many calories are you going to be burning in, in that minute on? Oh, Christ. Have you got the same assault bike as us? Yeah, exactly the same. Okay, so how many calories in a minute would you aim to build, uh, burn off? Oh, I'd, I on, honestly wouldn't have a clue. Um, so I, did I, the, I did it the other day, I did three, so I did minute on, minute off three okay. times randomly and I made 99. Okay, calories. nice. It's 33 per minute, which I thought Well, the last new. time I looked at the screen, it was on 149 right. calories, but I couldn't tell you what set that was. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no. The last time you looked at it. Yeah, exactly. Well, most, most of the time I just got my eyes closed and I'm just, is that, just pulling is that, away. Is that most of the guys at Bath? Is that their kind of... Do they, do, do they oh, well, hate this or do they well, like it's, it? It's a, uh, it's, it's a brilliant bit of kit, you know, because yeah. it's like you can sit on a Watt bike, but you're not using your arms. No. So. Yeah, for me, like this is perfect. I, I really like using the it. output as well on an assault bike. Yeah, the harder you go, it just gets harder and harder and harder. I know yeah. that sounds a bit like stupid, but it generally, you know, as you start to rev it up. No, it's awesome. Power yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's it's one of those like it's like the ultimate machine in terms of you get you get out what you put in. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Like the harder you yeah. work, the more gains you get. So, so it's a nice little session for someone to do if on Friday night. They think right, I want to yeah. get a bit of a gun pump, yeah. and then I want to have a bit of a sweat on. Arnie session, and then on to the assault a bike. A bit of an assault bike. Okay, yeah, last sure. one you got is the incline dumbbell press. So you're gonna be leaning back slightly, yep. pinching the shoulder blades together, trying to turn the bicep slightly outwards so you get squeeze in the shoulders. That just focuses on isolating the bicep. And again, working through 12 reps. So this is the sixth exercise, so it's a bit of a giant set for, for the arms. <laughs> yep. A minimal rest four times around. So yeah, they're a little bit sore because I did them yesterday, yeah. so I'm, I'll leave awesome. them there. <laughs> So that's, that's the six, that's what you did yesterday. Um, you know, you, your wrist was fine after doing that. And yep, all fine, so yeah. yeah. Cool, and then you just gotta keep working on, so since you've been injured, you've been doing more mobility work day to day? Yep. Yeah, to keep the um, back loose. Yeah, exactly, so like, you know, you do a lot more sitting down on a couch and things, yeah. so yeah. Um, yeah, you t I, I tend to find that my back gets very stiff and um, I have to do a lot of mobility around there. Um, like I said earlier with the passing and stuff, it's really important for my position, because yeah. Um, it's a bit unique yeah. on the rugby pitch. Yeah. Not, no one else really passes off the floor. So yeah, yeah I've got to keep nice and supple. And so when you, when you come back from your injury, then because obviously your skill works kind of lacked for rugby anyway. Your rugby skill work in terms of like passing, maybe yeah. kicking that kind of stuff. Will you go back and do more of it when you when you return from injury, just to kind of bring yourself back up to speed? Um, yeah, a little bit. So, like I'm lucky with my wrist. Um, it's, it's my right wrist, and I'm left-footed. So kicking wise, actually, I've actually, actually I've actually been feet. able to do quite a bit of kicking, yeah. um, which is quite handy because. Don't kick off I've, your right leg then. No, <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've I've tried occasionally. It's it's, it's gone okay. Yeah. Um, but no, that's definitely something I could work on. Um, but yeah, because I've been able to kick and stuff, yeah. it's meant I've been able to join in a little bit with sessions yeah. or at the end of the sessions. I'll grab the wingers and do a bit of high balls with them and stuff. So yeah. I've, I'm lucky so I've been able to be in, more yeah. involved sure. than some other guys who've yeah. who've got more serious injuries. And like obviously um, with like a, being a professional rugby player, like how many like I know it's not going to be the same every year, but 
How many injuries do you think you pick up generally? Since because I obviously back yeah. in my heyday when I used to play a bit of rugby, yeah. <laughs> um, the reason yeah. one of the reasons I gave up is just generally because my doing my job as a personal trainer at the time yeah was just too difficult walking into Monday morning no. and just couldn't move. So how many sort of like sort of injuries do you generally pick up in a season? Um, I know it's dependent on the game. Yeah, it varies, you know, d dependent on game time. Um, so obviously the more the play, the more likely yeah. you are to get injured. Um, it's high impact but I'd, I'd probably say you lo you're probably looking at about two niggles a year and if you're unlucky, a, you know, one sort of serious yeah, injury. Serious injury yeah. um, but that's, that's the way the game's going at the moment. Yeah. It's getting more physical, ball in play longer, there's more collisions. Yeah. Um, so, you know, ultimately sort of squad rotation and yeah. having, having a bigger squad is going to play a massive part in rugby. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's... And Bath look after you as well when you're injured? They yeah, oh, very well. Um, great team. No, we've, we've got fantastic physio and yeah. strength and conditioning um, departments and they, they look after us really well. So yeah. we're really lucky at the club.